Over the last decade, the town of Hampton, New Hampshire and partners have implemented dozens of projects that contribute to building the community's resilience to flooding and sea level rise. Before we explore these projects, let's take a moment to address two important questions. One, what do we know about sea level rise in New Hampshire? And two, what does it mean to be resilient? Flooding during high tides and storms has become a familiar scene in areas near the coast, marsh, and tidal wetlands in Hampton. As sea level rises, the depth, extent, and frequency of this flooding will increase, along with the impacts the community faces. It is likely, meaning that there is a 67% chance that coastal New Hampshire will experience between 1 half and 1.3 feet of relative sea level rise between the years 2000 and 2050, 2.9 feet by the year 2100, and 4.6 feet between 2000 and 2150. It's less likely but possible that relative sea level rise will exceed 2 feet in the next 30 years and 11.7 feet by 2150. Groundwater rise is also anticipated due to sea level rise. As recognized in its recently completed Coastal Resilience Master Plan chapter, accelerated sea level rise and worsening storms threaten to degrade the town of Hampton's iconic beaches and wetlands, damage its roads and buildings, stress its economy, and strain its municipal services. The community works to reduce vulnerability to flooding and sea level rise by proactively planning for the changes the community will see. This builds resilience. Coastal resilience is defined by Hampton as the ability of a community to achieve community goals and social, economic, and environmental well-being over the long term in the face of a changing climate and coastal hazards. Resilient Hampton is a thriving community, even in the face of change. In this video, we will show you the breadth of research, fieldwork, planning, and construction projects that have taken place in the town that help build resilience. Our timeline starts in 2010 with an academic cost-benefit analysis that looked at the dollar value of adapting to sea level rise now versus in the future. The expected damage costs to private assets by 2050 was estimated to be between $288 million and $319 million in Hampton. Efforts to engage the public in thinking about climate change started around 2013 with the first of many educational workshops held in town. These projects provided information for scientists, decision makers, and the public. But it wasn't until the town engaged in a vulnerability assessment called Tides to Storms in 2015 that climate change became a less abstract issue to the community. The town worked with the Rockingham Planning Commission to complete this vulnerability assessment. The project mapped and quantified the impacts of flooding from sea level rise and storm surge on built structures, people, and natural resources in Hampton. The assessment found that over 3,000 parcels were vulnerable to projected sea level rise and storm surge by the end of the century. The project also identified infrastructure and natural resources that were at risk under these six scenarios. The maps, quantified impacts, and recommendations provided the town with detailed information about the locations that sea level rise can be expected to impact the community in the near and long term, as well as concrete steps forward. The set of recommendations included regulatory, planning and policy, and community outreach and engagement strategies. Recommendations from the project provided momentum for other projects in action. The maps and findings from the report continue to be used today. In 2015, the town received funding from the Piscataqua Region Estuaries Partnership to explore participation in a program called the Community Rating System, or CRS. CRS is a voluntary incentive program that recognizes and encourages community floodplain management practices that exceed the minimum requirements of the National Flood Insurance Program. The benefit of the town's participation in this program is that it offers a reduction in premium rates to policyholders based on the action the community takes to reduce flood risk. Although the town is not participating in the program yet, the work involved with learning about the 19 different activities that the town can earn credits for and the process of documenting these activities has been beneficial. It highlighted how much the town was already doing and would qualify for rate reductions and helped to build momentum for doing more.
It was also a unifying project with lots of support from the Town of Hampton, Hampton Beach Village District, and Hampton Beach Area Commission. Every five years, department heads in Hampton gather to update the Municipal Hazard Mitigation Plan. The process and plan help prepare the town for hazards, and it's a requirement to be eligible for some FEMA grants. The town will again be updating this plan in 2022 with new information that has, it has gained since the last update. The town developed and adopted a revised floodplain ordinance, which was one of the recommendations from the Tides to Storms project. One of the major changes to the ordinance was to consolidate the floodplain information into one section of the ordinance. A second significant improvement was to update the ordinance to be compliant with the National Flood Insurance Program. Subsequent amendments have been made to the ordinance, which are noted further along this timeline. The town was impacted by two major storms in 2018. These events were a reminder that the coastal town is vulnerable. Following these events, Two neighborhood groups from the Ashworth Ave and Green and Gentian neighborhoods stepped up and requested that the town take action to address flooding. The Seabrook Hamptons Estuary Alliance, or SHEA, also stepped up and took on a leadership role in addressing flooding and sea level rise. In partnership with the New Hampshire Coastal Program, SHEA hosted three educational workshops known as the Flood Smart Roundtable. In 2018, the community approved two warrant articles to address ongoing flooding concerns in the Meadow Pond area and the Ashworth Ave neighborhoods. The town applied for a National Fish and Wildlife Foundation grant that would take the studies approved by the 2018 warrants further towards implementation. The town was awarded a grant for approximately $186,000. In 2019, a group known as the Coastal Hazards and Adaptation Team, or CHAT, was formed. This group was created as a direct result of Shea's project with the Consensus Building Institute, which identified, in part, the need for more information sharing between the town and residents. Representatives from the Town of Hampton departments, boards, commissions, and committees are members of CHAT. CHAT also includes representatives from the Hampton Beach Village District and Hampton Beach Area Commission, as well as residential neighborhoods. CHAT receives financial and technical assistance from the New Hampshire Coastal Program and is administered by SHEA. CHAT has convened monthly since January 2019 to share information and learn about sea level rise, adaptation strategies, and resources. CHAT continues to engage experts to learn about drivers and solutions to flood hazards and to enhance its communication with community members and decision makers in Hampton. In 2019, voters again approved changes to the floodplain ordinance, including a one-foot freeboard requirement. At the urging from residents, the town allowed parking in the municipal lot during tides that are 10 feet or greater in an effort to save vehicles from floodwaters. Also starting in 2019, the Department of Public Works issued alerts to the public when 10 foot or more tides were expected in order to help the community be prepared for floodwaters. The following year, voters approved additional amendments to the zoning ordinance to require that new construction and substantial improvements within 50 feet of a tidal wetland be elevated on open foundations. The town finalized the vision and coastal management chapters for its master plan in 2020 with financial and technical support from the New Hampshire Coastal Program. This major planning effort will guide near and long-term climate adaptation efforts. In late 2020, CHAT produced a set of 19 draft recommendations to the town to increase resiliency. CHAT continues to increase awareness of these recommendations, many of which are reinforced by the master plan. The town sought funding from FEMA to help it figure out how to administer adaptation strategies like elevations and buyouts. The town also passed a warrant article to support this effort. Shea looked at land use around the estuary to guide conservation efforts. Conserving land that is in flood-prone areas helps reduce impacts to infrastructure because it prevents development in vulnerable locations and provides storage space for water. It also creates space for salt marsh migration to help ensure that the marsh will continue to mitigate the extent of tidal flooding in Hampton. 
In early 2021, the Hampton Beach Area Commission hosted a day-long Coastal Resilience Planning Symposium to inform their master plan update. The Department of Public Works released a report on the Meadow Pond and Hampton Harbor flood studies later that spring. DPW also presented the findings to the public. The town received funding from the Piscataqua Region Estuaries Partnership to conduct an audit of land use regulations under the New Hampshire Coastal Flood Risk Guidance. This was one of the 19 chat recommendations. Nearing the end of 2021, Hampton is updating its master plan and participating in a regional transportation infrastructure vulnerability assessment. CHAT is preparing to undertake a public outreach effort. The community continues to work towards participation in the community rating system. To learn more about and get involved with resilience efforts in Hampton, visit the town's website at www.hamptonnh.gov.